Hi, and welcome to Cecil TV. I'm Doug Donnelly. With Election Day six weeks away and campaigns in full swing, we thought it would be a good idea to give viewers an overview of what they need to know about how to cast their vote. The pandemic introduced many people to mail-in ballots, drop boxes, and other features of modern voting. To help us sort out the details, we welcome Douglas Walker, Director of Cecil County Board of Elections. Welcome, Douglas. Hi, Doug. Good to talk to you, and uh, thanks for the invite. Please call me Doug. Now, um, you were appointed to your position in uh, back in June, and uh, you, uh, you, I guess you've uh, hit the ground running. And you know, we have a uh, with all the changes and delays, and and uh, it's, uh, I guess, you know, people have questions even. You know, locations have changed and where you vote has changed. I know I voted in the administration building, uh, but that's what happens there has changed as well. So uh, let's uh, let's begin. First, uh, voter registration for anybody who's, who is not yet registered, what do they need to do? Uh, they, they can uh, go to the website, either the, uh, the Cecil County Board of Elections website or, the, uh, um, or, or the, uh, the State Board of Elections website, uh, elections.maryland.gov, uh, and, uh, and uh, um, sign up to, to register to vote. You can call us on the phone. You can stop by our office in the, uh, in the county administration building, and, and we, can, uh, we can register you here. It, it's easy to do, and, uh, and we're... Um, we're coming up on the, on the deadline in, uh, in October, so we want uh, we would like to uh, people to come on out and, and do that. Uh, the the deadline is October 18th to register to vote for the uh, for the November 8th general election. Good. Uh, I, yeah. I can give specific websites if that if that's helpful. Voterservices.elections.maryland.gov/slash/votersearch, uh, or you can you can find us here at the, um, the the Cecil County Board of Elections. Right. Which is on uh, and to click there from the uh, from the county website. Excellent. Um, the um, so um, people uh, can request mail in ballots, and um, so what what do they do to obtain a mail in ballot, and then what do they do with that mail in ballot once they get it? Sure. Uh, I, I, this, I, again, easily you can you can request a mail-in ballot on on either uh, the county election board website or the state election board website. Um, uh, the what you do with it when you get it, um, it turns out we, we urge you to, to please vote that ballot if you if you if you get the ballot, uh, please vote that ballot. I can tell you from my own personal experience, um, back in what must have been 2002, I had in, I anticipated being out of town on election day. And at that point, we called them absentee ballots. You need to to, to, uh, to state that you are going to be away, needed a a, a, a ballot uh, by mail. Um, I my plans changed. I was in town on election day, and I decided, well, I'll go with my wife to the the polling place. We'll go together. We'll vote together. Uh, I got there and wound up having to uh, to to vote uh, provisionally. You know, the, the 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 judges correctly said, hey, we mailed you a ballot. What did you do with it? Um, said, well, I, it's, it, it's sitting on my desk. Well, to, to uh, ensure that I didn't vote twice, um, they had me vote provisionally, uh, which takes a little longer. It's, uh, it's not inconvenient, but it, it takes just a, 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 a touch longer. Um, so if you get that ballot in the mail, um, please vote that ballot. And you can, you can vote that ballot one of two ways. You can put it in the U.S. mail, or you can put it in, uh, in one, of the, uh, one of the five uh, uh, ballot drop boxes um, uh, that around the county. Okay, which well, so that brings us to drop boxes. Um, New, news there. Yes. Um, so where are these drop boxes and uh, are they accessible 24-7 or not? Or, or please explain. Sure. The, the ballot drop boxes are absolutely uh, available 24-7. When I say there's news, uh, I should let, let your viewers know this is, this is probably our, our biggest news of, of the cycle, the, the biggest difference from the primary 
to the general election. Uh, we are now down, we had 10 boxes, 10 drop boxes during the primary, one of being a, 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 a challenge to collect from them all, and they did not get used. Uh, for and four of the boxes, j just uh, we made 65 trips to the four lowest performing boxes and and found them empty. Uh, they wound up getting uh, less than two ballots per day for the entire time they were open. So we are now down to five collection boxes, and they are located here at the county administration building, right outside my window here, uh, at Northeast Middle School, at Rising Sun Middle School, at Perryville Middle School, and then at Bohemia Manor High School. Uh, so we're covering the entire county. Uh, Rising Sun sort of gets to the northwest county, the northwest part of the county. Uh, um, uh, Bow Manor gets the uh, the southeast part of the county uh, below the canal. And then the other three, uh, Northeast, Rising Sun, and, and, and Perryville, cut a, cut a line, I'm sorry, um, the, 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 the location here, cut a line across the middle of the county from uh, Perryville to Northeast to the administration building. Uh, so we are we have uh, ballot boxes in the, the 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 population centers in the county, uh, convenient to, to everyone. And and uh, and uh, I, the one other thing I can tell you is that that the, for the primary, four in ten ballots, thirty eight percent, were were voted here at the uh, at the county administration bill. But they're open twenty four seven. They're under twenty four hour twenty four seven surveillance as well for for security purposes. Uh, a, a shout out to the uh, the local police departments and the Cecil County Sheriff for 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 looking in on those boxes and providing uh, physical security uh, for for those those ballot boxes. It's a really convenient way to uh, to vote. And and if you get a ballot by mail, uh, I, I I suggest you do as I do. I I, um, I uh, get my my ballot by mail and then I vote it in the box and and, and take the um, the U.S. Postal Service out of the equation. I just put it right in the in the in the ballot box. Um, the, the one that's most convenient for me. Good. Um, so this election, um, I mean, it, it has always been a, I guess, an available or an aspect of elections <clears throat> in different places. In Cecil County this year, we have two, uh, to write-in candidates. Now, you often hear about write-in candidates. People are not happy with the what's on the ballot, so they write in whatever. Uh, uh, you know, they put Ronald Reagan or <laughs> or something on the ballot. But that, that it's actually a much more uh, organized system. I mean, uh, as my understanding is. The two write-in candidates in the county have, you know, had to go through a registration process and uh, so forth. Um, for a voter who is who who wants to vote for a write-in candidate, what 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 do they actually have to do? Sure, sure. It, it it is actually easy to do. Um, you you under each office. Um, there is a blank that says write in, and the one exception will be uh, uh, some cir three, I believe, circuit judge uh, positions where, where you're not voting for one judge or the other. It's a vote to retain. So the question is not, do you want to vote for this person for the judgeship? Do you want to vote for that person? In that particular case, it's a yes or no. Do you want to retain uh, this person or not? Those yes or no's won't have write ins. Every other office um, has a blank after all the named candidates for for write-in now there are uh, there as you mentioned two candidates in the in the county who have registered as write-in uh candidates there are actually three uh, i know of um running statewide um uh, as well uh, um and that means that that uh if you if you vote for those they'll those votes will be tallied because they registered they're officially registered right writing candidates but you can you can mark your ballot as you please you, you, you circle the dot next to write in and then write the candidate's name, uh, preferably first and last, preferably correctly spelled. Uh, but we will take a look at them uh, if there's any question. Uh, the, the board will look at the ballots in, on an individual basis with the advice of, of board counsel uh, and, and determine the, uh, the, the intent of the voter. And, and those, those ballots will be, a, will, will, be a count, will be counted accordingly. Um, but it's an easy process, though, for the for the for the voter 
just fill in the dot next to write in, write in a first and last name. Uh, and the, the other thing, Doug, I, if, I, if I could mention uh, uh, about this ballot that, that is different, uh, it's unusual in Cecil County, uh, not so unusual in, in, in larger counties. We'll have a two-page ballot this time around. Uh, uh, um, uh, during the primary, uh, your, your, your ballot was, was one sheep, the front and back, most likely. Um, uh, if you were an affiliated voter, if you weren't a Democrat or Republican ballot, it was a shorter ballot, and so it was just the one side. Uh, the general election ballot... Uh, is two pages front and back, so there will be four pages to vote, two sheets front and back. So it, we urge you uh, to, to look at those, to vote uh, both ballots, uh, and, to, and uh, if you're, you're voting in person, to definitely put those through the scanner. If you're, if you're sending them back in an envelope, either by mail or putting them in the, um, in the ballot drop box, send back both sheets marked front and back. So the the in the voting booth you'll have two sheets and uh <clears throat> they does the scanner scan both sides or do you have to yes the scan, yeah, yes it does the uh the scanner is programmed to scan both sides you can put it doesn't matter if you put side one up or side two up doesn't matter if you put the head in or the tail in if you will um the scanner will will, will scan both sides of it on one pass Okay. And please, when you're in the voting booth, you'll, you'll have the, the, the two sheets. Please use the black ballpoint pen that we provide. Good. Um, okay. Um, so traditionally, you're always, there's a, you're looking, you're looking for workers, people to uh, work on election day at the polls um, to do various tasks. Are you, are you still looking? Is it? Is it too late? What's been it is not too late. What's been the response? The Re response has been good. So we did the primary with approximately 195, 200 election judges. So we, we're considering that our bare minimum. Uh, we'd like to, to see uh, 250 folks uh, signed up. Uh, right now we have uh, 208 as of Friday, 208 folks have committed to coming into to training. Uh, there is there is training involved. Uh, it's typically a three-hour training uh, dur during this general election. It's actually we're doing it an, an hour and a, an hour and a half training because the vast majority of our judges are, are returning judges. Um, on on Saturday, October fifteenth, uh, we have a training specifically for new judges. Um, and, and in fact, that that will be the last training opportunity. So if if you've been thinking about um, becoming an election judge, a poll worker, um, please let us know. Again, call or, 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 or go to the website of the of the, of the Cecil County Board of Elections, uh, and uh, and just make a request to, to 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 work as an election judge, and, and we'll get you trained on it before uh, October 15th. Uh, it's really a rewarding experience. That's uh, that's essentially how I come to this work. I served as an election judge and and later as, as a chief judge. Um, by the way, it's volunteer activity, but uh, we'll, we're paying you to come for the training. We'll pay you for the training. And if you come and serve on election day, uh, we'll pay you for the training and election day in, in any of the eight days of early voting that you work as well. And, and, and working on the early voting is a great way uh, to brush up your skills and be ready for election day wherever, wherever you're signed. Um, we'll try to sign you to your own polling place or someplace close. But that depends on on availability and and uh, wh wh who we have signed up to work in 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 in, uh, in the nineteen uh, voting places. Very good. Um, the um, okay. So um, something uh, I don't know if this is a new thing, but you have scheduled a public demonstration of um, of the the. Uh, I guess the mechanics of the process, the right. machines, et cetera. Um, is this uh, is this new? This is new this year, uh, it, and uh, I guess I have to ask, why are you doing it? Sure, uh, uh, it, it is not new. Uh, it is um, uh, it's something that that we have done. 
uh, and, and they're required to do. There are uh, several things that we're required to do and, and, and do in public. So uh, the canvassing of the votes, um, we, we do a, a tabulation of the votes on election day at two o'clock, a tabulation of, of the early voting results, but, but don't release them, of course, until after the polls close. Uh, and then uh, the day after election day, uh, I'm sorry, two days after election day on Thursday, the 10th of November, uh, we, we, we canvass or go through the, 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 a first set of the mail-in ballots, uh, a second set we do on the, the second Friday after the uh, election, and we work on the provisional ballots on, that, on, on Wednesday of the week after election day. So Thursday the 10th, Wednesday the 16th, Friday the 18th, all those are, are, are public events. Um, the board will go through, the board and election officials will go, will go through, through ballots. Uh, and we do it in the in the county council chamber. It's it's open to the public. The one other thing we we add is on Tuesday, October 18th, which as it turns out is the the last day you can register to vote. Uh, we do a public demonstration of of, of what we call logic and accuracy uh, um, testing of the election machinery. Uh, we we check the the electronic poll book, the first machine that 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 you encounter. When you come in, someone will check in, uh, get your, ask you for your name and, and, and birth date. Um, we'll we'll uh, provide you a, 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 a ballot action vision card. Uh, then you'll get a ballot. Uh, then you'll have the opportunity to, to uh, mark your ballot by hand, or if you prefer, mark it by the machine. That ballot marking device uh, is another machine that we test. And then whichever way you go, you're going to put your, your ballot into the scanner and we, we, we thoroughly test those scanning machines. Uh, we, we check to see that, uh, that there is no way that they are connected to the Internet uh, and make sure that they're, 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 they, there are, are not modems in there so, so that, that they are pristine and, 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 and away from any Internet connection. Uh, we check the, uh, uh, the, the, the devices that, that move the data from machine to machine that we do through, through a, 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 um, an intense uh, chain of custody process. We run a test deck of ballots, uh, 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 of sample ballots, and run them through each and every one of the scanning machines. Every single machine is tested to make sure that the, that the, that the machine counts the ballots as they were marked. Uh, that we have the right number, that they are, that the the votes for each candidate come up with the right number, and and uh, then we run out a report uh, of, of on on each machine on thir on Tuesday, October 18th at 10 a.m. here at the county administration building. Uh, we will we will show the reports and and, and show the machines just to demonstrate. Uh, the, the, that the machines are doing exactly what they're supposed to do. If there are any issues, we take the machines out of circulation, but we have document documentation on each and every single uh, election machine, and we're happy to show them to the public. Uh, Kelly Stangstock, the chair of, of, of the, the County Board of Elections, uh, has, has, has asked us to urge people to, to, to come. And Doug, we want to invite Cecil TV to come and, 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 and show the viewers that uh, uh, that process as well for those who are not able to, to to be there in person, but fully transparent, open to the public. We want to we want people to see uh, that that the, the the process has a high level of integrity, and and you can you can see how the machines work and and, and how secure our process is. Well, very good. That's a um, <clears throat> that's a very thorough uh, thorough airing or or quite transparent i guess um so it's exactly what we're trying to do yeah all right so uh we covered a lot um again uh i think it's important that uh, uh people visit the the are you suggesting they go to the county i went to the county government website ccgov uh, right. right. Uh, on the, uh, yeah. And, and, uh, and then there's several departments. The election department is one that you can go there and click elections. That'll take you straight to the election board. That's that's if, if you're used to the county county web page, it's an easy way to get get to us as well. Good. OK, well, uh, Douglas Walker, director of uh, Cecil County Board of Elections, we thank you for uh, joining us and uh, giving us a rather thorough rundown of what people can expect. And uh, and again, thank you. 
Happy to be here, Cecil County voters should feel free to, to contact us on the web page or, or give us a call. Uh, we're happy to talk to talk to you through any questions that you may have about the process or, or about your own uh, registration or, or where to vote. We're happy to talk to you. Doug, thanks for the opportunity and the invite to be on Cecil TV. You're very welcome. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.